Hey howdy hey and welcome back to the second channel day. How are you guys doing? I don't know if I've uploaded on my main channel before I've posted this one, but whenever I do upload I'm wearing the same thing because it's definitely the same day and I literally just stopped recording the first one and then started recording the second one. So cool, sweet. I don't know why that feels like information that I don't want people to know. Like I always feel like I have to, if I'm gonna record twice in a day, I have to change like how I look and stuff because if you guys see me in the same outfit two videos in a row that it's like a bad thing like oh my god she filmed two videos in one day what a loser like I don't know why that sounds like a bad thing it doesn't it's dumb but I like feel ashamed that I'm just sitting here talking to a camera for so long I don't know I feel like it's like you know most youtubers are always it's another day and another productive day that they're doing videos and they're always looking different and it's always a new cool day and for me it's like any time that I have the mental and physical energy and capacity to film I am going to film as many videos as possible because I don't know when this day will come again it is not a common occurrence so whatever I'm wearing the same outfit okay judge me which I'm sure you won't because it's not a real thing to judge people for but I am judging myself let's get into the video so for a while now I've been advertising that there's three new videos I just spit so for a while I've been advertising that there's three new videos coming to my second channel and I listed them and they were that I am going through a timeline of my disease, what it looks like online, like just the normal things that I would post online, what was actually happening behind the scenes, go through that and document the progression of my illness with addiction. The second one, number two, was a tour of all my tattoos because I finished my sleeve. And then number three was why I got kicked off, not kicked off, I didn't get kicked off, why I left Tinder in a matter of two days. Well, actually, I still have it. I didn't deactivate, but I'm too scared to open the app. I am physically scared to click on it. And I'm gonna talk about why and what my experience was in the first 48 hours on Tinder because I feel like that was actually interesting content. What I did get kicked off of though, for no reason, I don't know why, is Match.com. Made Match.com when Tinder failed so horribly for me. I was like, where else could I try? So I tried Bumble and Match.com. So I made a Match.com account. I uploaded my pictures, which were just selfies, nothing promiscuous, nothing gross, nothing, anything, just pictures of me. I mean, I guess you can argue from a personal opinion that they were gross, because it's my face, so you get to decide if you're like, <coughs> You might react like that when you see my face, but you might not. I feel like that's personal opinion. So the fact that I got deleted for them, a little offensive, honestly. Yeah, Match.com said that my account has been terminated for pictures that go against their terms of service. It was just my face, bro. Sorry that my face was so bad that you just had to delete my account. Like, and they said they couldn't tell me exactly why. And I'm like, why can't you tell me? Just tell me. But Whatever. So that's the three that I talked about. And then I asked which one you'd like to see first, and I did a poll, and I asked you guys, and you all voted, and I decided to do none of those first. I'm doing a completely different one that I've never mentioned just because. So what we're doing today is that uh, on Black Friday, I went to Sephora, and I got a lot of stuff. I decided I would just show you guys the stuff I bought because I spent like, I need to know the number I spent so I can put it in the title, like hubba hubba dubba dubba Sephora haul. Except the hubba dubba hubba part will be the amount of money that it was. So the first purchase was 421, the second, that's an M&M wrapper, that's not a receipt. The second, did I lose the receipt? Well, I lost the second receipt, but I know it was somewhere around like $200. So. 421 plus 200 is 621. Let's just round it up to six. There's no really way to round up from that. Oh well, we're calling it 650 because it was probably around 240 or something. I don't know. 650 dollars for a haul. Yes, yeah, a deal, right? The funny part is they're actually all really small things, so it's not really that impressive. Kind of actually like sad, like. You spent $600 on that? $650? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and go through everything I got from Sephora. My $650, $650 Sephora, Sephora haul. Okay, so some of this stuff I got solely because it was on sale and I've never tried the brand, so I was interested in trying it. Ultimately, I like to buy cruelty-free makeup. I'm normally really, really good at this. There's only a few brands I normally get at all. If I accidentally buy something that isn't cruelty-free, it hasn't ever been the end of the world for me. It's never been like a must-have product. I just normally never buy it again if I figure out it's not cruelty free. With that being said, I bought a lot of stuff that was on sale. Hopefully I didn't buy anything that isn't cruelty free. If I did, I'm sorry. Like, 
I don't know. I was rushing, okay? I went in there and it was 11.45 p.m. and they closed at 12 a.m. So I had 15 minutes to spend this much money. So I didn't have time to double check. So I'm sorry if I failed you. Okay. Anyway, if you haven't clicked off yet because of how annoying I am, let's get going. <laughs> okay, okay, so. I can't see with these. Okay, so the first thing I pulled out was this Fenty Beauty. Can you see it? Can you see it? There it is. Bam, bam, thank you, man. This product is called Diamond Bomb and it's a super fine holographic sparkle for face and body. Insane diamond dusted effect. I'm out of focus. Wow. So it's not technically a highlighter. Now listen, I'm not a beauty guru. Beauty guru? It's like that guy from Despicable Me, but pretty. Anyway, I'm not a beauty guru, so I don't know what some of this stuff is specifically for the terminology. I don't, I want to call this a highlighter, but it looks like it's not. It looks like it's a sparkle for face and body. So instead of a highlighter, this is a sparkle. Don't know what the difference is, but this is a sparkle, not a highlighter. But it says it's for the face and the body. So this is what it looks like. It looks cool. Honestly though, weird comment I want to make real quick though. At Sephora, this was on display and it was gooey. It was like gooey and slimy. Am I supposed to make this wet? Someone please help me. Comment below why it was gooey. Thank you. Not highlighter, sparkle. The color this was in is hollow at me. Hollow at me, cool. That's item number one, the Fenty Beauty Sparkle that isn't gooey. So next thing I got, this is ask. <laughs> this is actually a stocking stuffer for someone else in the family, but I got it. This is the Too Faced lip gloss kit for Christmas, and there's like sugar plum, spice cake, eggnog, and peppermint bark. And it says they smell like whatever those things are. Not that I don't know what those things are, I was just meaning that they smell like those things. So I didn't mean to word it like I didn't know what they were. I can't open this up and like swatch it or anything because it's a gift, but this is another thing I did indeed buy. So I needed to include it or it would not actually be my 650-ish dollar makeup haul. For a long time now, I've been using the Too Faced foundation for my face, for foundation. But since I was just buying things with no regard for anything, like this wasn't even on sale for Black Friday. I most of this stuff wasn't. Some of it was. Most of it not. No, it wasn't. I just bought it for no reason. This is the Anastasia, you can't read it, but it's Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Luminous Foundation. There's the word, foundation. It looked really close to my skin tone, so this is what it looks like. This is my white face. It actually looks really good from the test I did, but it's looks like this. There's a little pump. I don't know. I just put it right there. It looks like it goes on my skin, but yeah, it feels really smooth and really creamy, so... I'm excited to try this on my actual face. Okay, next thing I got. Don't judge me, okay? Because I know this is not the most liked person, okay? I've never tried any of her products and they were on sale for $6, so I wanted to try them. I got Kat Von D, some of her lip, lip stuff. I know that she has some beliefs that I'm not too loving of. I've never tried any products by her. I bought a brush by her once a long time ago and that was it. So I really just wanted just to see what her products are like. Pretty sure I've known for a long time that they're cruelty free. So I got the color Coven and it's a lip liner and I I did buy um, a lipstick that goes with this too. I'm gonna have so many like random swatches now on my arm. But this is the color and it does go on really smooth. So again, I'm not a beauty guru, so I don't know what terms I'm supposed to be using. Like, should I call a lip liner smooth? Is, I'm, I'm doing my best. I don't really watch beauty YouTubers, so I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm trying. So this next one is a brand I've never heard of, but they did have a big sign that said they were cruelty free. All of their lipsticks were $6. So I just grabbed a crap ton of them for no good reason. Um, this one is Mauve Marat, Mar can't speak. Mauve? Is it mauve? That's mauve, right? Like in my head I can say it and it doesn't sound like how I'm saying it. In my head it sounds different than I'm saying it. I can't, am I explaining that even in an understandable way? Am I speaking English? I don't know sometimes. Mauve? 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 Marv? Ma mauve? Mauve? Marzipan. That's this. That's this first one. This kind of looks like a rosish pink. And again, I've never heard of this brand, but they said they were cruelty free. It's like, it looks like this. So it's called a lip crayon. It has a shimmer to it, which is interesting. Can you see that? But it's, it's cool. 
it's it's a neat color i could get down to it whatever that means i don't know i don't know how beauty youtubers do this my back is killing me from sitting up this long and i'm not wanting to swatch all of this so i got a bunch of these my legs falling asleep hold on ow god i'm 50 years old. This is a lip primer by Bite. Not gonna test this one out because it's just a lip primer, but I'll show you guys it. That's it. Wow. And it's just to prime your lips. Who would have thunk it? This next one is Black Coffee by Bite. This one isn't actually a French press lip gloss. What is a French press lip gloss? And what makes it different than a normal lip gloss? French press is not the color of it. It's a French press lip gloss. I mean, the, the color's black coffee, so are they just trying to make this like a weird coffee reference? I don't know. Coffee is French press, right? That's a thing. Yeah, it is. So this color is actually really cool. Here's my French press lipstick, or sorry, lip gloss. Don't want to get the term wrong. It's a really cool color though. At least it looks like it is in the bottle. Let's see what it looks like when it's on something. First impression is the little thing is bent, but that's fine. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. Seems a little weird. So that's the color. Cool. This one's another lip crayon. Again, judging by the other one, they have a shimmer to them. Yeah. So this one is the second one on top. It's like a purple violet icing. Good name choice because that's what it looks like. Next one is black truffle. I know one of these is like an actual black color and I really like that. This one does look to be a black color. It's another lip pencil and it's a purple. That's fine. So it's the color on top, which is like a reddish purple. It's not black, even though the color looks very black. Next up, we have the Too Faced Matte Something. Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. It feels kind of big. It's like in a really big box to be a lipstick. It's in the color Evil Twin. I honestly don't remember what color this is. So we about to find out together. Looks like another black, purple, red. Like, it's the same color. Let's look at it. Ooh, ooh, I kinda like this. This one is like, this one is dark. I like it, I like it a lot. Evil Twin is a yes for me. I guess now I'm saying yes or no, even though all of these other ones I haven't been saying yes or no. So this next thing I actually like a lot, I have been using it already. This is the one brand, I don't know if it's cruelty free or not, which sucks because I actually really like this brand. But the brand is called Charlotte Tilbury and it's a lip cheat which is just reshape and resize lip liner. It's just a lip liner that looks like natural lip color. And there's like a few different ones you can choose from. I wear a lot of nude color lips. And so this works really well universally. It's that one. I really like it. I really like this a lot and I've been using it. I don't have it on right now. I will show you guys what I do have on, but this is actually really similar to what I'm wearing. Again, by the same brand, this is the one I do like. It's the lip liner and lipstick called Pillow Talk. I really like it. So if it's not cruelty free, this sucks. I have a really bad feeling it's not. And then again, this one I'm pretty sure is not cruelty free either. This is a NARS product called Color Me and it's a lip gloss. But this color is actually really cool. Oh, it's a lip gloss. Okay, so this is like gonna be really hard to try to show you guys on my hand because it's just like shiny. But um, it's the one with the mega shine in the middle. Wow! I got a lot of lip stuff if you can't tell. So this is another little thing that was just cheap. This is by, again, Bite, and it is an all agave three-piece lip care set. So it's like a lip scrub, a lip balm, and a lip mask. What's a lip mask compared to a lip scrub? I haven't tried these yet, and I can't sample them here, but I just wanted to show you guys what the little test kit looked like. It's all a really small version of their lip products that are for lip care and one's like a lip balm, and then the other two are scrubs and masks. It's just a little small version. It was really cheap, so I can try them all, and if I like them, go back and get the bigger versions. So next up is Urban Decay, an eyeshadow base. I've never really done eyeshadow bases, so all my eyeshadows aren't very prominent in color and they fade really easily. I decided to try one that was like highly recommended there. So next one, I don't know if this brand is cruelty free, but it's milk. If they mean cow milk, it's not cruelty free. Almond milk? 
cruelty free. No, it's not made out of milk. This is just a tattoo stamp. It's lightning bolts. And you can stamp them next to your eye or wherever you wanna stamp them, which is cute. Okay, so when you get this product, you don't wanna push it down really hard because if you push it down really hard, it gives you a circle around it, which is what I've always done, so I've thought the product sucks, but it doesn't. If you just lightly press it, it does its job. I have a heart version of this by a different brand and I always pushed it down really hard. So I always got that little circle around it and thought the product sucked. Again, kind of iffy about this person's beliefs, but I got this and another one also. Um, this is Saint, I also got Sinner, it's a perfume. I have not had perfume in like a year. I went there and I tried some out and these are the ones I like the most, Saint and Sinner, so I got two little tiny ones. Next up is another one, I don't really wanna sample it cause I already showed you the other one, but it's just a moon version of the stamp. And another Kat Von D product that was on sale, another lipstick, this one is blue, it's called Dagger. This one is an everlasting liquid lipstick and it looks like this. I actually really like this color. <laughs> Cool color. I like it. Pretty cool color if I do say so myself. So next up we have cannabis extract, blue agave extract, all day hydration hold hydro makeup. I don't know what this is. Um, base? Oh, I guess it's just a face base, face primer. But yeah, it's a little bottle like this and you do a little squirt, you rub it on your face and then you put your makeup on your face after that. This is the one I've actually been interested in what it looks like. It's again by Bite. It's another lipstick. This one is a Muse Bouge lipstick and it's kale. And it looked like it was black, so that's why I'm excited because I've always wanted a cool black lipstick. <gasps> I think that's black. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, let's see. Please be black, please be black. It's green. Of course it's green. Its name is Kale. What did I, when is Kale black? Why did I think Kale was gonna be black? Kale is not black. Kale is green. This is green. Green. Not black. I don't know what color I was expecting from Kale other than Kale. It's Kale colored. I don't- I'm stupid. Okay. God. Kale. Kale color. Stoned Rose by Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury Pillsbury Donut. I'm getting tired, okay? I'm annoyed from the kale thing. I should have known. This one, again, is Stoned Rose, and it's a lip. Just a whole lip. I'm running out of space on that hand. Let's do this above the dumb kale color. It's the same kind of lip I'm wearing now, but it's a different color. And it's right there next to Kale. It's orangey, kind of orange. Cool. So then I got um, a makeup setting spray by Urban Decay because it was on sale. It was on sale and I don't have any setting sprays. Now I do. <coughs> this was a little Fenty Beauty brush and it was really cute. It's called the Baby Buki, 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 I don't, it's a really cute brush. Look at it, it's tiny. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my, why can't I hold this? There we go. It's cute. I love this brush. I don't know what I'm using it on. I don't know what, what product this is supposed to be for, if it's supposed to be for blush, if it's supposed to be for the um, shimmer, Hi not highlight, it's called shimmer, right? Sparkle. I don't know if it's for the sparkle. I don't know what it's for, but it's a cute product. Okay, another product that is again for another family member's Christmas stocking, but it's one of my personal favorites. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Nude Lips. It's just all of them and some glosses. It's just all of my favorite light nude shades. There's a few lipsticks and two lip glosses. I just love these colors by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I thought maybe one of my family members might like it too. And if they don't, they can re-gift it to me. And then next thing I got is a pack of cruelty-free brushes by um, Too Faced. It's just some new brushes for me to use for my eyes because all my brushes are getting really old. So I got a little cruelty-free set because, again, it was on sale. By the way, when I got the Charlotte Pillsbury Doughboy lips, it came in a little kit like this. So that's what it looked like. So second to last is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow kit, which was cool because all of these products alone were a lot more expensive than this little thing combined. So it's the Brow Wiz with the mini dip brow gel and the clear brow gel and it's just a little kit of all three of them which is really cool. I'm excited to try that because I normally only use the dip brow pomade so it'll be a cool thing to try. Lastly again don't judge. I keep saying that even though like I'm gonna get judged. Again it was on sale. I want to try some of her products just 
honestly out of curiosity mostly but this is called crazy for kittens and this is the first product I picked up by Kat Von D it honestly sold me because it had cats on it but I mean her name's Kat Von D so obviously she's gonna do that first off it's this alchemy palette which I thought was kind of cool looking it is a palette with highlighters and the highlighters look like that highlight People are probably gonna be mad that I'm not gonna test this, but I'm not gonna. I'm literally acknowledging that I'm not gonna test it and I'm still not gonna pick it up and test it, so I can't say I forgot. I'm literally just choosing not to because I'm lazy. But the last three things that came in there were Double Dare Lip by her, which I will test. Looks like an actual, it looks like a lipstick, not a lip gloss, yeah. I kind of, not gonna lie, I kind of like the way her lipsticks feel. They have a really smooth feel to them. But that's Double Dare. Oop, I just smudged it. That's Double Dare. It's a little sample of her eyeliner right there. And then last, and definitely least, no, just kidding. And last is some mascara by her called Trooper Black. Trooper Black, cool. So that's what I, that all of that literally cost that much money. It's ridiculous. To be fair, I think the perfume was kind of expensive. So that was probably a part of it. Bought all that, spent all that. Some cool lips. I'm excited for these lipsticks. They're cute. Still not entirely too sure what, uh, a shimmer is and why it was gooey at the store but it was thanks for watching if you would like to subscribe that'd be really cool because because subscribing helps me a lot this is my second channel and it's home for everything that isn't on my main channel very descriptive so if you made it to the end of this video you obviously watched the whole thing for some reason so maybe you would enjoy watching more future content for whatever reason so maybe you should subscribe and if you give me a like that helps me a bunch because it helps my video be pushed to other people because hey people like it. You can check out my main channel for some other videos about animals if you like animals. If you guys would like to see a video of me actually like trying on some of these products, let me know. So thank you for watching me go through how I wasted my money this week. Next week I'm sure there'll be something else I wasted my money on. I'm not gonna lie, the entire time I was doing this I was looking forward to that kale color and it was the color of kale. It was not black. So I'm a little, little, well, I'm a little mad at myself. Honestly, I can't be mad at the lipstick because even though it looked black, it was literally named Kale. So what did I expect? It wasn't lying to me. I was lying to myself. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys another day. Or maybe it'll be the same day and I just change outfits again. Honestly, I'm debating it. I'm like, do I want to just take this off and film another video? Probably not. My back hurts way too much. So I'm just going to go sleep now. Good night. Oh, wait, I need to take a thumbnail.